is Varsity Cup time at the moment. We're action-packed Varsity Cup uh, season right now. Everybody's very excited. And, uh, of course, we're privileged to have Freddie Miller, mm. the vice captain of uh, UWC. Hello, Freddie. Welcome, Yeah, like you. Yeah, you have to for your Marae Blomme organized? Yeah, she had me see that she Blomme got. 50 Rose. 50 Rose? Yeah. So, you're happy now? So, it's a very pleasure. It's Antoinette. Nee, nee, Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie. Ja. Ik gesê Antoinette, nee. Ja. <laughs> ja. Dit was nou die laatste keer, want jy, jy moest vaar die roze gegeen. Ja, ja. Alright, folks, varsity cup time it is. Time for us to look at uh, some of the results in the varsity cup. Remember, lots of uh, features coming up tonight in the show, so make sure that you have your cell phones handy, because we're going to make sure that you uh, put yourself in line to win some fantastic prizes, courtesy of Evox. And during the show, we're choosing a Cape Rugby t-shirt. Alright, this is going to be up for you for grabs. And we need you to help us choose the right t-shirts. It's been running on Facebook, but we'll catch up with that in a minute or so. Let's take a look now at some of the Varsity Shield results before we move into the Curry Cup. There you can see the results. On the Monday night, it was CUT up against Fort Hare. A victory for CUT, 44 points to 29. And of course, on Monday night in our hometown, UWC beating the University of KZN, 30 points to 15. It was a great result. Freddie, you're sick and happy with that result. It was just very happy now. Donderdag so uh, verloor, um, so is baie gelukkig om die event maandag aan, um, so is baie booster, so is confidence booster, so ons kan net volgende week um, die confidence in die game vat. Die wind het nog een beetje geblaas maandag aan? Uh, eerste helft was taf om palen toe te skop en vooral net die gewone slijn te skop. Beetje taf gewees, maar toe was samen die wind tweede helft te skop, was het baie makkelijker gewees. Ja, ons het eindelijk een paar clips van jou, ons gaan net in een minuut of so daarna kyk. Um, in actual fact, let's take a look at uh, some of the highlights of the match between uh, UWC and UKZN and you can make up for yourself there just how windy it was. It was an exciting match and of course all the entertainment happening at the Varsity Shield as normal. <laughs> There you go, folks. That was, of course, Varsity Shield, KZN. Those were the, uh, the mortal enemies, so, so to speak, on, um, on, on Monday night. Um, Freddy, as if you know, Freddy, I'll just go to the UWC to my little figure that I went to the pump. And I said, Tienio, I can no min balling in Urgan. Um, it's a moeilijk om te scoop in the wind. Let's go in the wind. This is the cup. We had four, four seasons in one day. So, we had to go in the wind. So, we had to go in the wind. Jerome, um, what do you make of, of uh, you know, the weather at UWC? I think we, we're very lucky in a sense that uh, the, the captain, Charlie, uh, the second game now, that he won the toss. Yeah. So we know how to play the wind and uh, we've changed a bit on how we want to play. The first game, I think we kick, we tried to kick into that wind and it was impossible. We last night, uh, um, Peter just said, we're going to run every ball. Nobody's going to kick. And um, yeah, and we said we wanted that four tries uh, in the first half, and we've the guys done pretty well to do that to get that bonus point within the first half. So I think we uh, we're fortunate to train in that wind, it's been also with the lineouts and everything. If you're not used to that, then you're gone basically. Well, from a from a weather point of view, um, I mean, you guys you guys play at, at, at Newlands. Um, they talk about the weather swirling. When you guys are speaking to the coaches before the games, is there a lot of discussion about weather and tactics? Look, James, I think a lot of people complain about the weather and you know, they always have negative things to say about it. But what, 
what they've adopted, I think, what most teams have adopted, you know, moving forward now is the fact that you've got to use the weather to your advantage. I mean, you know, I think that the UWC captain on Monday was obviously lucky enough to win the toss. But even if you don't, if you lose the toss, you know, you have certain game plans that you will instill at certain times of the game, depending on, on, on the weather and the wind. You know, at Newlands, it swirls in the one corner. So we know that when you kick off, you kick off into that corner. When teams get stuck there, they get stuck in that corner, you know. Yeah. Obviously, at UWC, it might be different. But at the same time, you know, if you, if you win the toss, you often want to play with the wind you know, put the points on the board and then know that you have a certain game plan to play in that second half that you can use, you know, sort of to, to keep the possession and, and, and kick less. Freddy, um, kom ons gaan een beetje naar jou toe. Ik ben als jullie naar zo'n travel, uh, UK is er in uh, KwaZulu Natal's universiteit, dat ik ben al net afgekomen, maar het nogal een goede show gezet. Ik ben, het was niet een makkelijke game nie. Nee, nee, het was baie fysical, het was dag geweest, die eerste 20 minuten. Hulle uh, is op een groot voorts gehad en op een groot backs wat uh, strijd gemaakt het op een en Dat is moeilijk geweest om wel een keer. Maar nog steeds weer je gestopt. Hè? Ik zie je daar begin je weer geboetsen. Uh, ja, ik heb maar mijn mijn beste proberen. Dus nou die nieuwe bijnaam wat ons voor jou heet, die boetsen, want jij snij om bij die lijn op. Eigenlijk <laughs> 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 ja, was bij fysical. Um, die voertje uh, die hadden werk vorige week en dat makkelijk gemaakt was achter. Ja. Maar en nou, als als jullie nou travel en jullie gaan um, voor bijvoorbeeld keizer in toe, weet jullie wat om te verwachten? Als jullie daar komen, want ik ben niet, ik denk iedereen eens van van keizer in het maandag aan zeker geweet van die wind en hoeveel hoeveel impact het gaan op die game nee. he. Um, is is met de heren wat ik al speel als so, we als weet als op gaan en, en Pieter Marisburg het het bij bedompen gaan wees en is warm en je zweet bijna alles is tij en nat en um, het maakt die bal beetje glipperig. Dus so, weet eindelijk wat om te verwachten. Um, we spelen maar niet hard en hard op hard op bellen en dan, maar als ze afkapen dan komen ze niet gewoon in die wind. Dit is de eerste paar rounds wat die jaar gespeeld is, dus we moeten afvallen. Right, folks, um, let's uh, take a look now at uh, the Varsity Cup logs, or at least the Shield logs, and you can see some of the interesting teams here that have moved and up and moved down. Of course, CUT are still on top; they're on 13 points. They played three matches and they've won three. UWC having done almost as well, um, having played three and uh, won two of those matches. They've only lost one so far, but, uh, but a, great, a great points difference there for UWC. You can see it with a 46-point points difference on 10 points in second place. UKZN in third place on four points. Uh, Fort Hayes on third, and TUT, the um, uh, Twitter University of Technology, are in fifth place on just three points. They seem to be struggling a little bit. What do you think about TUT, Jerome? How do they come Ik denk um, die eerste wedstrijd in UWC was een groot um, teleurstelling voor de TUT. Um, in de avond was het net was het net moeilijk. Ja. En als je in die competitie als je jouw thuisgames beginnen verloor, dan is je in die moeilijkheid. Ja. Uh, um, want het is bieke moeilijk om weg te gaan weg te spelen. Uh, um, so ik denk voor alle is het nou is nou maak of breek, hulle kan, hulle is, as hulle nou nog een verloos hulle basis uit, dan is die seizoen klaar, dan, dan maak het nie eindelijk meer saak nie. So ek denk die, die ander spanne, um, soos ons in, in CUT, en um, Fort Heer en in Maat, ek denk dis die drie spanne wat nog soort van in die ran is. Mogens, I mean, do you agree with Jerome? This seems to be like a, it's almost like a half season scenario. It's all about the home games. The chances are, are not great that you're going to win the away games. The, the traveling conditions and so on is a lot more difficult. And it almost it turns into a half season. You win them all or it's game over. Yeah, look, James, I mean, they, they all, they all play. There's five teams in the, in the league and they play, they play sort of, you know, four at home and four away. So I think you, you stand in good stead if you, if you win your home games and you sort of, you know, sneak one or two away from home. So obviously it's, it's eight games on the trot, but I mean, you know, sort of you sneak, you win your home games and, and you sneak one or two on the road and you, and you, so, you sort of find yourself in a good position to to play in the semis and the finals, I think. Is that the strategy? Look, in general, I mean, you know, with the Super 15, I, I know that the guys, generally, they, they, you work on your home games, and you try and win one or two on the road, and you, and you, you find yourself in, in, you know, in, in playoff stages. So I think I'm sure that UWC will be adopting the same attitude with eight games. But you see everyone, so I mean, who works it for you? I mean, who plan you this season? I mean, you have already November to begin, or maybe before you have it already. Who plan you this season? What say PDV and, and um, Ali there by you? Ons main focus is om al ons home games te win en convincing te win met bonus point en al. En as ons uh, tenminste twee win, away win en dan misschien net een bonus point in een van die twee games krijg, dan, dan leer ons top of the lock en dan spelen ons home final. En dit is eigenlijk ons main doelwit vir, 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 vir die jaar. Ja, vertel ons bykie van die, van die spelers, Jylle, die ouwens in die span. Um, hoe gaan die span? Hoe is, uh, die ouwens is allemaal saam, hulle spelen al rukkie, rukkie saam met mekaar? Ons kom al drie jaar saam mekaar. Um, so, die meeste van ons ken mekaar as een of twee ons wat inge, nieuwe ons wat ingekom het, maar hulle het uh, goed gedert om samen ons in die span te wees, en um, ons bly al, allemaal saam, ons 
party saam, ons, yeah. ons chill saam, so het is baie lekker vibe, het is was vir, vir drie weke op een kamp gewees, ja. ons, ons lekker geband en my kameraderie het ons gekryk. Ons gedra. Ons is ons self gedra. <laughs> <laughs> so now, let me ask you, I mean, we've, we've actually looking at the players UWC from last year to this year and I was watching them play a very attacking style of rugby, they're not afraid to smash a guy on the run. Um, it seems like there's I mean, they were confident last year, but it seems like there's even a new set of confidence that has come into the players. Yeah, as Freddie said, what we've done this year a lot is we, we focus on the basics in the, in, in the thing that we've got control of, which we know we've got strong ball carriers yeah. um, up front, and we've got guys, steppers at the back. So it's a, it's a, it's a mixer between the forwards and the backs. The, the forwards do their work, the backs finish off. And uh, uh, it's a lot of hard work that went into, into the pre-season, which... Uh, um, which pay off now uh, what, what we want to do and what we want to achieve. Yeah. Uh, focus was a lot on, on the breakdown, um, the way the rules are now also. I think we, we are ahead of all the other teams in terms of, of, of what you need to do at the breakdown. And our main focus is our defense actually start at the breakdown. So we put the team under a lot of pressure there. So there's hardly teams that no teams yet have scored bonus points against us. I just think it's fair <laughs> that, that, that that you know, they've got a, a, a Western Province coach helping out of the university <laughs> team. <laughs> it's like and a, a former Springbok coach. <laughs> and a former Springbok coach. I yeah. mean, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, okay, great stuff. But Listen, one of the big things we have to talk about is the att- entertainment factor um, at, you, at, at the Varsity Cup and at the Varsity Shield matches. Um, Freddie, I, this is a great job, no? It goes lekker op the stadium. So, the first time I was there, 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 I Klink, guys, as gaan het maal af. Ja, ek sien julle is maar gefokus op die game. Well, we did um, look at some of the entertainment there. Of course, Miss Varsity Shield currently running um, on the campuses and uh, the guys look like they're, well, the girls at least, and the guys, they look like they're having a lot of fun. Let's uh, show you some of the highlights of the entertainment at uh, the match UWC against um, UKZN. <laughs> some of the results now from the Varsity Cup. Some interesting results there. It was uh, Tux beating Ikees 24-16. Marty's a good away win for them, 23-15. UJ 37-20 over Pukka. And NMMU beating Vitz 24 points to 16. Jerome, um, this is again, we're talking about away wins. You can see here, uh, if we look at the logs in a minute, but you can see, uh, you know, I- uh, Ikees are struggling a little bit there. And Losing your away ge- uh, games, again, it starts to bite. And you see Marty's top of the log, but what are they doing? They're, they're winning their away games. Uh, we see Marty's beating Schimmler's. Schimmler's a tough team. Yeah. Um, JP, as I said last week, um, that you could see the way Marty's want to play and the, and, the, and the type of style that Chris Rousseau brought into the pattern and how they want to play. They've got a total different uh, approach on how they want to play, uh, running rugby. And I think that's, the, that's what the people want at Varsity Cup in the Varsity Shield also. They want to see more tries. That's why they, they've changed the, changed, the, changed the rules and the points also. So that's what they want to see. And, and, and I'm glad that Marty's actually adopted that, that type of style that, um, that they're playing now. And, and um, that's why they get bonus points. Where last year they struggled to get bonus points and they just played with their forwards. Now they played with everybody. They've got a sort of 15 men that run and play. Yeah, yeah. Morgs, I mean, you've played with Chris, uh, Chris Rousseau, and of course you were last year. You were at Marty's. Um, I mean, you must be going thinking, understanding a little bit of what, what's going on in his head. Jerome talks about the fact that he's brought in a, na- 
a different style of play to what Sean Rue had. What would you say are the kind of things that Chris is bringing into the game that's slightly different? I mean, he's a back. Yeah, look, I was, I was about to mention that actually. In fact, I mean, if you look at it, uh, you know, I mean, Sean was also, was, was, I must say, he was a, a, a sort of a, he loved, he loved the running rugby, but he always was adamant about the forwards laying the foundation because he's a forward, you know. Yeah. And then Chris comes in, and Chris <laughs> is a back, so I think he's more about the backs laying the foundation and the forwards playing off that. So, but I mean, look, in general, I think what's happened with Selimosh is that that side's just matured, you know, after two years of playing with that same side and sort of still making it to the final and losing the final last year. You know, that's, I think, uh, half the guys are still the guys that started in the final last year. So yeah. I think Chris has, has adopted a bunch of, of, of talented guys from last year. But again, you know, the running rugby and, and, and Chris, when he, in his playing days, if, if, any, if any of the guys have seen him play, he was a, a, good, a good guy that loved to run the ball, had good hands, good skills. And I think that's what he's trying to coach into the, in sort of, you know, coach into the players now that he's, that he's coaching. So I think Stellamash will, will do really well this year. I think they've got some great backs and, and we're only seeing them flourish now because of the, the style that Chris has wanted to adopt. Ferry, kijk jy ons bykie die, die Varsity Cup, die ander games? Nee, ons kijk gereeld, man. Ander. Now, wat so. maak jy van die, van die ander spelers? Ek meen, denk jy, as jylle so na die, na die Varsity Cup kyk en jylle kyk na die Shield, voel jylle asof daar ons die senior ouwens is, of, of hulle is net lucky om my tournament te speel? Ach, nee, man, as jy sê, hulle is krik aans om my te speel, hulle moet het gebruik. Ons wat onderspeel, kom daar, ons gaan nou kom. So hulle maar, jy het reik kyk ouwens. Ons moet vir jou ook vraag, jy het laas jy gespeel vir die, vir die amateur squad. Um, hoeveel van die ondervinding, en as a paar van jylle, JP Kellerman is daar, ehm, uh, so Ram, jy kan vir my sê, wie sê, wie sê ook is wat daar, met paar ons in die amateur squad wat daar by UW's is? Uh, ja, Freddy het gespeel, JP Kellerman en Charlie, wat die kaptein is. Ja, Charlton uh, van die Haasveld. Charlton van die Haasveld, van die Haasveld het gespeel en ook um, die man of the match gister aand, uh, oh, um, Warwick. Warwick Rode. Hy, hy het gespeel. Ja. So daar was vier, vier van, 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 van hulle spelers wat daar gespeel het wat, um, ja, sorry. So, e, hoeveel van hy ondervinding van die amateur squad het jylle ons ingebring by UW's? Ach, mys leer nog als baie um, van hy ons wat super A en super B is, maar hy leer baie van hulle die klein, die decretie van die game, ja. um, die basics wat hy terug na die klap, die ploeg het maar terug, en die ouwens wat saam my speel, en hy doen baie ondervinding op as hy saam my ouwens speel, wat hy hoog speel. Alright folks, let's take a look at the logs now, the UC Martys are firmly in first place on 10 points, Shimlers are in second place on 6 NMMU on 6, Tux on 6, University of Johannesburg on 5, Pukka on 4, Ikees on 3, not doing too well, but I'm sure Ikees are going to be looking for a bounce back, and Vitz in last place, in 8th place on just 1 point. Let's take a look at the fixtures, there you see in the Varsity Shield, it's TUT up against uh, CUT on Monday night, and then University of Fort Hare take on UWC in an away game for UWC. While in the Varsity Cup, it's Shimlers up against Tux in Bloemfontein. Marty's are at home against NMMU. Wits take on uh, in, or at least take on the Pukka in Johannesburg. And Ikees are playing at home against UJ. So those are some exciting matches there. Two home games for you, UCT and Marty's, for you to go and choose which one you want to watch. But it is a away game for UWC against Fort Hare. Freddy, what are you going to wait for in Fort Hare? It's of course a travel, it's of course uh, all the way to Alice too, and it's of course a bit of a moog flieger. What are you going to wait for? Are you going to go back to the game? Yeah, we're going every year with the Conference Side 20. Um, Alice is just a little place, there's a big crowd that comes, so we know exactly what we're going to wait for. We're going to try our best to try it, so we're always going to try it, but it's always going to end. Alright, let's take a quick look at some of the other uh, fixtures there. Um, Jerome, Marty's against MMMU? Uh, no, it, it's telling boss it's going to be tough for MMU. Martis I think Martis will take, will take it. What's your one. opinion? Yeah, look, I mean, still much at home. I mean, uh, you know, they, 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 yeah, it's quite, a, it's quite a tough, it's a tough task to go to, 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 the, to the DC and, and try and get the results. So I think I'll put my money on still much for that one. DC. DC. Yeah, that's a <laughs> Tell us. Uh, Donnie Craven, Josh. Donnie Craven, yeah. But he means <laughs> about Donnie Craven, yeah. Right. And of course, Ike is against UJ. It's a home game. Jerome, Ike is will definitely be looking to bounce back. Yeah, as I say, um, Ike's last uh, yeah, Monday night, they were a bit unfortunate not to take the, to get the points. Uh, but I think also, I hope the wind pump there. At, yeah, because uh, they're at the GM. Then, uh, yeah, they're at the GM. <laughs> <laughs> then they, they <laughs> might snatch the wind there. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah, they, uh, uh, Marty's are at the, um, at the DC and the Ike's are at the GM, which is, of course, the Green Mile. And... U-dubs at the, at the U-dubs. <laughs> 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 right, folks, that is a wrap of our Varsity Cup 
feature, uh, of course, looking at the Varsity Cup and the Varsity Shield. Freddie?